Hello students. Welcome to my channel Mary Madam Tech Classes. Today we are going to see list in Python. Here lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable. Lists are of four types four built-in types in python used to store collection of data the other three are tuple set and dictionary these are with different qualities and usage here if you see the list are created are represented using square brackets if you see in this example here this list contains this list is a variable is equals to items or elements apple banana cherry if we observe this apple banana cherry written in double quotations because they are string data types here the list are written in a square brackets it should be re represented in a square brackets let us see this is a window of python if you install the python software the window will be appeared like this the version of my python is 3.11 so ideally shell 3.11 version here if you observe three greater than symbols are here here I am typing the this list is equals to now we discuss the example now apple banana cherry and give the enter key then type print this list as variable I gave this list so print off I am using the print function to display my list items so print off this list if I give enter key the output will be appeared apple banana cherry if we observe i gave the input in double quotations but the output is displayed with square brackets and also with the single quotes of elements next let us see now the list items just now we discussed apple banana cherry the list items are indexed the first item has index zero our, in our example, apple is the first element. So, the index is 0. The second item is banana. The index is 1. And the last element is cherry. Index is 3. Next, ordered. Ordered. When we say that list are ordered, it means that the items have a defined order. And that order will not change. If you add new items to a list, the new items will be placed at the end of the list. If you observe in the above example, if you see that apple, banana, cherry, three elements or three items are there. I want to insert again apple. Where it will be stored? It will be stored after the three elements in the fourth place so here we can say it is a ordered element next changeable if you say changeable the list is changeable meaning that we can change we can change the list by adding and remove the items in a list after it has been created when we created the list only three items are there now we are going to add another element it, it is added if i want to delete the element or remove the element in a list the list will be changed next one allow duplicates here since the list are indexed if a list is indexed list can have items with the same value for example if you see the example here example this list is equals to apple banana cherry again apple cherry i am giving 
twice apple and twice the cherry if i want to print the list this list apple banana cherry apple cherry all the duplicate values also will be displayed in the form of the output next one is list length to determine how many items a list has use length function here what does it mean means what the what is the list of elements will be known by the length function if you see the example this list is equals to apple banana cherry i want to know the length of the list so print of print function and also with the length function see observe observe clearly print of length of this list if you press the enter key it will give as 3 next one list items with the data types if you observe here if you see the example list 1 contains only string data type second list contains integer data type list 3 contains boolean data type if you see the list 1 apple banana cherry it was written in alphabets with auto also double quotes so it is a string function if we observe now uh, why we should give in double quotations you may either give the string as in double quotation or in single quotation but the output will be displayed only with a single quote if you observe the print of list 1 apple banana cherry with the output single quotes next example if you observe the example 2 sorry list 2 it is a integer data type of 15793 the output is if if i want the output if i want to print the list 2 print list 2 15793 if you see the third one print of list 3 that list contains list 3 contains boolean data types true false false this is about the example next a list can contain now we observe list 1 string list 2 integer list 3 boolean not only in that manner we can give both all the data types with the different data types can also we can write in a list see list 1 is equals to abc in double quotation so it is a string data type 34 is 34 is a integer true is a boolean 40 is a integer and mail is also a string data type i want to print list 1 so the output is abc in double we written in double quote now it is a single quote list form 34 true 40 mail in single quotation next this is about the list in python thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel mary madam tech classes and also click on the bell symbol you will get all my videos as notification thank you once again and we will meet in another video bye take care